Hello, this is M.D. McCollum, also known as Warlord, and welcome to the Character Creator 3 Pipeline Beginner's Guide. Renderosity Real Illusion and Renderosity Magazine have gotten together to bring you this guide to get you up and running as quickly as possible. Character Creator 3 Pipeline is more than just a character creator with the addition of iBray and InstaLoad. You can achieve near photorealistic renders with little effort, or you can drill down deeper into iBray's feature to produce some truly stunning results. An InstaLOD is a tremendous tool to reduce the poly count of your characters, of uh, their accessories, and even props. These are just two of the new features that Reillusion has packed into this latest version of its popular character creator for iClone. This version happens to be standalone, the pipeline version, and will work from creating characters outside of the iClone ecosphere. Now, versions 1 and 2 for iClone help character creator develop and mature into a versatile tool. Now with CC3, we see even more tools in the toolbox, and those include GoZ and Game Character Base, which we'll get into in later installments. So, thank you for joining me, and let's get started. Now, for this first part, we're going to take just a quick look at the interface. We're not going to go over anything in detail, because we'll learn these buttons as we go. But one thing I did want to show you was the workspace itself. What you're seeing right now is not standard workspace. You can customize this to however you want it. These things can slide back and forth to whatever order you want, or you can take them out altogether, or you can put them in their own slot. You can pretty much build your own. So what I've done was I just built my own and I saved it under all windows. So you come in here to windows, workspace, or excuse me, all panels, and this is where you can save your own to however you want it to be. But since uh, some of you are new to this, I'm going to go ahead, at least for this one, go to windows, workspace, and standard. So we'll at least I'll be on the same page for that. Another thing to remember, if you can't find something over here in one of these menus, particularly over here, remember your little tabs up here that will change to different menus. So it depends on uh, what you have highlighted, what you're doing. Just always keep in mind that you've got to be on the right tab. So if you're going to be working, say, uh, on pose offset, and then you come over here and you're stuck over here on the editor, the appearance editor, then just work your way back if you're not sure which one it was until you get back to your pose offset. But just remember that you have all these different uh, sub-menus up here. Menus there, menus there, that all hold different choices. Another thing to keep in mind on this particular menu is that you will also have template and custom. Custom is where you save anything that you created or something that you changed and saved back uh, it will always be in custom. You can make your own folders. Uh, you can set this out however you want to do it. But again, if you can't find something here, then remember, there's template, which is everything that you would like buy in the store, get from Real Illusion, what came default. And then there's custom for everything else that you've brought into iClone. Now, when you do save, one thing to keep in mind is the hierarchy up here. Like, you're going to be in custom. But you'll also notice up here that there's different things. So here's clothing. Clothing has all these different submenus from uh, underwear, shirts, pants, skirts, all the way across. Then we have accessory, and it has its own submenus. So, as you can see, like an accessory, I've gotten the bad habit of just dumping what few accessories I had right there in the root of it. But if you're going to have a lot of things, which you'll end up doing, it's just much easier to keep the pants in pants or something that's like pants, uh, skirts in skirts, things like that. So as you can see, you have all these different submenus here. And what you would do if you wanted to save this bra was you would come in and pick which one you want to save. Like, let's say, over here under underwear. And then you would just click that button with that highlighted. It'll save it. And then you'll go ahead and you'll name it. And just you can save this in any one of these. It's You need to pay attention, though, so you won't save accessories in the wrong place. Or it wouldn't be so much accessories as it would be like saving a dress in the pants or saving a pants in the dress. Or something like that. You see here you can rename it. And that's how you save it. 